What's going on guys? Mike here from the Battle Axe driving in traffic. I know, I know. I shouldn't uh, shouldn't be driving on the phone, but I'm not really on the phone. I'm actually in traffic, so it doesn't really count, huh? I'm not moving. Uh, yeah, from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami, where strength is everything. Um, continue to answer questions for uh, all you meatheads and uh, fuscular bro scientific people out there. One of the major questions I can constantly get, obviously, because I get the same question all the time often, and it makes for a good speech to say that, but is how to implement or how to put strongmen into your training uh, without ruining whatever particular sport you do. Because obviously, whenever you do something as intense or as central or CNS intensive as strongmen, you have to see how to put it into your training program without ruining what your ultimate goal is. So. Uh, if you play football, obviously football is more important. If you do CrossFit, CrossFit's your sport. If you do rugby, you know, the basketball, whatever. Um, my idea would be simply to do this. Um, if strongman isn't necessarily your main main idea or main goal, add it as a accessory movement or part of your, um, your medley work or your repetition work. For example, if you have a bench day for any kind of uh, heavy lifter, or, or, or powerlifting during your, your, your football stuff, um, use, it, use it after your main movement of your bench press. Let's say you go you know five by twos or five triples on the bench with chains or whatever. After you're done, why don't you do a three by eight with the log press uh, and strict it or, you know, or push press it without the clean. Um, let's say you do a heavy squat day you, or a heavy box squat day, you go ahead and do a five by fives or one rep max, get under the yoke. Uh, do sub maximal weight, maybe 60, 70 percent, and go for distance. Go for 40, 50 meters, uh, four or five rounds. Just go for speed and get that that kind of nervous system training. Get that that core strength and that speed and that power. Again, this works with stones. You can use that as speed day. Uh, you can use it as repetition, as cardio. You can add medley work, uh, keg carries and stuff. Some of the videos that I just recently uh, posted with carrying the kegs, etc. Um, that way that you're using strongman to continuously make you strong, um, strongman to make, continuously make you strong. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and implement it into your sport without ruining shit. Now, the way I train my CrossFitians is that I make, um, especially during max effort week or repetition week, I'll make the strongman movement um, the main the main movement for. I'm about to die right now, actually. <laughs> uh, but uh, the main movement, it will be a strongman movement because in CrossFit, strongman is part of the sport. Um, so if you want to get better at something, something as odd object as a strongman, you're going to have to work it out, period. So what I like to do is, is actually use it on strength days and as a main movement and then use something like a bench press as accessory and switch it every few weeks. So that when you do get hit with something like, you know, Summer Crush two months ago or two years ago or or now in the, the games coming up, the, the Pantheons, when you get hit with something strong, man, you're not completely, you know, taken aback. You're ready. Your nervous system's ready, and your numbers continue to climb. Um, I'm also in the process or actually working on and have guinea pigs out there doing my new strength and conditioning program for CrossFit, um, which is for, like, basically optimal training, which is kind of a, a watered-down, uh, adorable programming um, that's been watered down from strongman training. Um, saw what I did there? Oof. So, if you guys have any questions, email me. Uh, I have three people doing it, and they just hit uh, PRs two weeks in a row, and I'm completely satisfied by those numbers. Um, so, uh, keep it up. I hope this answers those questions about implementing strongman into your into your sport, into your training. Uh, don't ever do these kind of videos while driving. Obviously, Miami is the safest city to do it in, uh, so I'm doing it on a rainy day where everyone knows how to drive. Duh. <laughs> Duh. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and keep in touch.